Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a full pricing comparison between Zapier and Make. So if you are looking into both platforms and you are still deciding which one is the best for you, in this video, I'm going to specifically talk about the pricing and how they count operations and tasks. Okay, so let's get started. So in this screen here, you are seeing the structure this, the Zapier has for different plans, right? But before we dive into their specific plans and pricing structure, I want to talk about the difference between how Zapier counts tasks and how Make counts operations because it's, it's different. And that, of course, will impact how you are seeing the pricing structure here, okay? So here on Zapier, you have tasks. So you pay your monthly fee for a specific amount of monthly tasks that you have available, right? So let's say that you want to have 10,000 tasks, right? So you're going to pay $193 every month to run 10,000 tasks, okay? And what is a task for Zapier? So here you have a very basic, a very simple Zap. That are, there are two apps connected, one trigger and one action. And Zapier counts a task for every action that runs successfully on a given zap. So in this case, if this zap triggers, it's going to count as one task. So as you can see here on the zap history, you can see that the last time it ran, it was it counted as one task. And that's really important for you to understand. Of course, that there are different nuances into it. There are certain actions that didn't count. There are certain actions that don't count as tasks. So, for example, paths and filters. But for the most part, for all the apps that you are connecting, all of them will count as one task if they run successfully as an action and not trigger. Okay, so Zapier doesn't count a trigger as a task. Okay, and that's really important for you to understand. So here on Make, the task is called operations. So you have a certain amount of operations every month, the same way that you have on Zapier. But here it's a bit different, right? So here again, a very simple automation connecting just two apps, one trigger and one action. Okay, and here on make, you are counting two operations every time that this automation runs. So as you can see here on the history, you have two operations, right? So it counts one operation for the trigger and another operation for the action. Again, it's different from Zapier that doesn't count the trigger as a task. Right. And of course, again, this very similar to Zapier here, you don't count filters and certain actions internal, like make action, like certain filters as an operation. You're only considering actions for apps and also other modules here. So basically, if you want to build a Zap on Zapier, just connecting two apps, and if you want to do the same zap here on this scenario, just connecting two apps, the same scenario, the same two apps, everything, here you're going to have the double amount of operations than on Zapier, right? So on Zapier, you're going to have one task. Here, you're going to have two operations, okay? So again, this is important for you to understand because this is how each platform counts as a task or, or as an operations, of course, that's going to impact directly on how you are seeing the pricing structure. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go to the pricing pages here. On Zapier, you have the free professional time and enterprise plans. Of course, they have different features, but let's consider just the first paid plan for each platform so you can have a similar comparison. Okay, so in this case, you are paying $193 every month for 10,000 tasks, okay? And of course, this is for unlimited apps. You can have unlimited premium apps. So basically $193 for 10,000 tasks every month, okay? So, and again, for unlimited apps, webhooks, and some other features as well. So let's go to make.com right now. So the same thing monthly. So I'm not considering here the 
the yearly plan, just structure monthly here the same way. So here they have three core pro teams and enterprise plans, right? Let's look for the core plan. Again, the same, the first paid plan here on make.com. And thinking about that structure on, on how each platform counts as an operation, as a task, here I'm going to consider a similar, a similar pricing structure here. So let's get 20,000 operations every month because on Zapier, that plan that I, that I was looking at was for 10,000 tasks. Again, if you have the same automation in both platforms, just two apps on Zapier, you're going to count as one task. And on make, you're going to count as two operations. So that's why here I'm having the double amount of operations compared to the Zapier plan. And here, the monthly plan is almost $19. Okay. Again, for unlimited scenarios, unlimited active scenarios, you have webhooks, you have basically the same features that you have on Zapier. Okay. And the price is 10 times cheaper than what you have on Zapier. That's the difference between both platforms. Okay. Of course that there are a lot of other features, other points that are important for you to consider, but it's thinking about just the pricing. It makes a lot of sense for you to think about use make.com instead of Zapier. Again, Zapier is easier for you to start building your first automations if you're just starting out, but with Make, you have more, more features, more capabilities. And if you're looking for a full understanding of the difference between both platforms, click on this link here below to watch my other video where I go and I show you the main difference between both platforms in terms of features, in terms of usability, in terms of everything that you can build on both platforms. Okay. But again, thinking about the pricing here for both platforms, make is 10 times cheaper than Zapier. And of course, especially as you start to scale, as you start to build more and more automations, I start to run more and more tasks and operations, Zapier can get way, way, way more expensive, right? So just looking at the price, I would definitely choose make.com rather than Zapier. If you have any questions, just let me know. And also, as always, if you need help to build your own automations, to automate your company's processes, just click on the link down below so we can get on a call and I can show you more examples of great automations that we have built for other clients. Thank you.